bougie. Oh my god. I won't start peeling, which I already am, but... Maya and if you're not familiar with this face, um, I am a small YouTuber from Hawaii and I specialize in doing all kinds of videos really. I do skincare, cooking videos, lifestyle, vlogs, you name it. I do it all. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare review on this Herbivore Prism face mask. So before we get into this review, I just want to tell you a little bit about my skincare experience. Um. I'm not really no expert or anything, so yeah, just wanted to add that. But I've always been interested in skincare. I'd always find myself buying skincare just to test it out on my skin. So my skin is like a combination of oily and dry, but mostly dry, like Sahara Desert dry. Like, <laughs> it's not even funny, but it's because I have eczema. I've had eczema all my life since I was a kid, and usually by this time, I think it's supposed to get better, but sadly it hasn't. So I just had to find ways to cope with it by finding products that work for my skin. So on an everyday basis, I moisturize with the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. Um, this is one of the best moisturizers out there, hands down. When it comes to actually cleansing my face, I tend to like swerve towards Cetaphil. Um, I know it's not as good as CeraVe, but yeah, I just used your Cetaphil Foam Face Wash. I end everything off with using this Florence by Mills um, Zero Chill Face Mist. Um, I Okay, skincare by Hiram, please don't come for me, but I know this is bad for your skin because of the fragrance, but can't blame me. Come on, this is super cute packaging. Um, but yeah, there's not really much I can do with my skin since my skin is so sensitive, but when I do face mask, um, I tend to use this Mask of Magmanenti face mask um, from Lush. It's kind of on the pricey side, I guess you could say, but it works well for my skin. So if you have eczema, I definitely recommend using that face mask. Um, let's just bring you guys up close and personal for a second. Um, so this is my skin currently. Um, I do have some redness from my eczema. Um, where it is red is also super dry, um, which kind of sucks. Um, along with my forehead, you guys can see like the lines from how dry my skin is. Um, I also do have a little bit of acne scars on my cheeks um, and over here above my eyebrow. I tend to... Or, I don't really get pimples as much, but when I do, they're like huge, like, they're like huge, like, um, I have one right now, right here, like, I don't know, it just sucks. Okay guys, sorry for my blabbering, but now we're gonna get into the actual product. Um, I recently just got this, so I have yet opened it, so let's just open it right now. Oh wow, so far the packaging is super, super cute, um, it comes with this little, like, Prism, herbivore prism palette. Not a palette, sorry. Like a pamphlet kind of thing. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, so um, over here it just shows the actual product. Um, looks super cute. And over here is all of the ingredients, I'm assuming. So next in the box, it just comes with this little. Um, this is super cute. Um, it says it comes with a free sample of calming lapis facial oil to restore moisture following Prism 20% AHA facial. Oh wow, it comes with a little free sample. So this is the little facial oil. Um, it just comes in this tiny cute tube. Um, I would definitely be trying this after the face mask. And with the actual face mask comes with this tiny little cute spatula to scoop up product. Which is very good because if you guys did not know, um, sticking your finger directly into product creates a lot of bacteria. Okay, now for the part we've all been waiting for, um, the actual product. Wow, look at this product. This looks super like bougie. Oh my god. Okay, let's open it up real quick just so I can see how it smells. Oh. It doesn't even have a scent, but like, it's super liquidy. I don't know if you guys can tell. 
but like as I move it around, it moves pretty easily around the jar. Um, so I'm gonna read the directions on the side of the box on what we have to do. So it says, it is a one to two time per week glow facial featuring a powerful blend of natural AHAs including lactic, glycolic, and malic acids, plus a concentration of natural BHA willow bark to exfoliate away dead skin cells, a relieving smooth, bright, and glowing skin. Oh girl, I need that. So the directions say to apply a thin layer to clean skin and leave on for 20 minutes. Um, a tingle or mild redness upon application is normal. So for sensitive skin, it says to leave it on for five to 10 minutes and then remove with warm water and follow with the herbivore facial oil for best results um so since i do have sensitive skin and i don't know how i would react to this product yet um i am gonna leave it on for five to ten minutes and do it twice a week but hopefully all of this skin problems will go away at the end of these two weeks because girl my skin needs some major help so yeah, let's just get into the review. Okay, everyone, so it is day one of using the Prism Facial Mask. And I am super excited. Um, I just hopped out of the shower and I did my daily cleansing routine at the end of the day, which is usually just using the Cetaphil um, Foam Face Wash for oily and dry skin. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using this mini spatula that it came with to apply it so I don't like transfer any germs inside so yeah um, it just has to pl apply a thin even layer around your face so that is what I'm gonna do right now okay um first thoughts about this this feels like an aloe vera gel like just straight up aloe vera gel on your face it's starting to tingle a bit um, especially where I have my eczema so like my cheeks, um, yeah. But like it said that it was normal, so yeah, that's fine. Um, so I just finished applying all of it around my face. Here's how it looks like. Um, this is a wash off face mask, so yeah, sadly, I wish it was a peel off one, but it's not. Um, but on the package, it says to leave it on for five to 10 minutes if you have sensitive skin. So that is what I'm gonna do. Um, the tingliness right now, like the level I'd say is a 5 out of 10, I don't know, I feel like I'm just kind of getting used to it or like it's simmering down as I keep it on my skin for a longer time. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go and chill for 5 to 10 minutes and then see you guys later. So this is how it looks like on my face now. Mm. I am so, so happy that like my problem areas, like my eczema that I usually have around here did not get inflamed. That means that this product is working for me so far, which I love, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go wash this off now with warm water and I'll be back. Welcome back. Um, I just washed off the face mask with warm water and then I just pat dried my face with a towel and guys, look at my complexion. May I say I am glowing? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm sorry. But, wow, my skin feels super, super smooth. Um, it does not feel dry. I don't know if that's because I just washed my face or it just replenished all the hydration into my skin. So now I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my skincare routine with the things that I normally do. So I'm just gonna go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, this is like the best moisturizer you guys can buy. Um, it's good for all types of skin. Um, my dermatologist actually recommended this to me and ever since I had it, it's been working super well. Guys, um, it's always important to Moisturize your neck if you guys want to know, um, so it will prevent you from getting wrinkles. Tip from my mom. <laughs> now I'm going to finish off with the Florence by Mel Zero Chill Face Mist. Um, I usually refrigerate this, but since I had it out, it's not refrigerated, which sucks. I can't get like the cooling effect that I usually get with it, but yeah. Usually one to two pumps is fine with me, but... 
this is the end of day one with using the face mask. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry, I didn't show you guys, but this Nature Republic Aloe Vera Gel. Um, it's so I recently filled out the Glowish skincare survey, and they basically sent me the following ingredients that would fit my skin type and concerns. So I'm going to talk about my personal experiences with the mask and what it did for my skin basically. So 